Josh England, Council 3. Today I'm speaking on behalf of the Lexington Farmers Market, specifically with regards to business item Z on the agenda, which withdraws the funding awarded to the market for the permanent site in Davis Bottom. I first want to thank the City Council for asking the community to dream big as part of planned use for the ARPA funds in 2021. This allowed citizens and organizations to have a platform to share their ideas, concerns, and hopes for improving the city they call home. The city continues to face many of the same systematic and long-term planning deficits that became apparent during the initial waves of the COVID pandemic. As reflected in the proposed adjustment, affordable housing is growing more and more out of reach for many of the Lexington community. Construction and repair costs have ballooned, and homelessness continues to be a growing concern. Parking and transportation are also at the forefront of many businesses and citizens' daily concerns. And we thank you for working and listening to residents and businesses that would have negatively been impacted by the parking authority changes. So where does this leave the farmer's market project? Without this critical piece of funding, we must stop the project and evaluate what the future looks like for a dedicated permanent facility. We aren't necessarily giving up on the project, but the withdrawal of the, this funding does represent a serious obstacle. We want to thank those in the community that have rallied to the support of this goal, especially Omni Architecture and the Lexington Community Land Trust. While we agree that as plans progressed and construction costs increased nationwide, the overall projects initially presented to the council would not have been feasible in the timeframe provided by ARPA, as it was based on fully funding a $10 million site designed to serve multiple numbers of broader community needs, we were hopeful that a phased or pared down initial approach to the project could be completed by the required deadlines and sought out and shared estimates and projections that suggested that, um, that objective would be feasible. All that being said, despite this setback to our long-term sustainability plans, we intend to continue to work to provide a living wage for farmers, sustain farms and farmlands, provide Lexington with fresh, high-quality, accessible agricultural products, and stimulate the local economy. Our regular market events and food access programs will continue in Tandy Park for the foreseeable future and on Southland Drive and on Alexandria Drive. Finally, we will continue to work to provide a safe, welcoming space for all of our neighbors and friends to have year-round dedicated, permanent um, access to food that we feel is a vital part of a resilient city. We will also continue to advocate for the Lexington community and would encourage the council to find a way to use the part of the withdrawn funds to promote local small businesses and ex support accessible use of downtown spaces by the whole community by providing things such as bathroom facilities and additional parking. Thank you. Thank you so much, Josh. 